What is going on guys? Wise here and I'm coming to you with a one hive lab strategy video. Uh, we're I'm actually here actually with uh, the man Dr. D. Uh, I've been filling in doing a lot of recaps for us lately. Um, how you doing my friend? Not too bad. How about you? Awesome. Awesome. I was actually really pumped when you reached out and asked me um, if you wanted me to uh, if I wanted you to do uh, a strategy video on the bitch slap because I was just finished the recap of the North Watches War and obviously noticed the same thing that you did. That attack was extremely predominant at the down all nine <laughs> level, uh, to say the least. And I did briefly touch on it in the in the video. However, I'm not a town hall nine anymore. So the fact that you reached out, um, you know, you've been F seeing it. You one of the attacks we're going to show was your attack. Um, so you're going to have a lot better insight on this stuff than me. Let's just flip on over. Check out the war. So North Watchers, um, this video probably will go up after the recap. So, um, what one ten one ten? What a war! <laughs> what was? Uh, were you awesome. watching the end? Um, I was. I obviously I explained in the recap video. I was out of commission. I had I had my wife's birthday the day before and had a little too much fun. So I unfortunately missed one of the you know the more fun wars. Um, but were you watching right to the end? Yeah, I was best ten v ten triple I've ever seen. I mean, baby heroes, um, last minute of war, we're down. You know, uh, we needed that triple, and and he really came through. It was amazing. I mean, it was <laughs> awesome. We actually, what we did in the recap, uh, I'll give you you got uh, you a little spoiler. Um, we showed all the attacks that we wanted to, and showed all the town hall ten triples except for that one. And then we showed the progression of the triple and how uh, between Jacob and JP and Grady, they sort of planned its demise and uh, came away with it at the last minute of the war for us. So I do show both fails and then we show the successful three using using both pieces account. So, uh -huh. um, but let's uh, let's get to this bitch slap thing. Let's uh, jump in on uh, Rigel, aka Captain Sparrow's uh, attack here. Uh, I will pause it. Uh, you can't see the screen I'm looking at right now. So um, run us through, run us through the army comp. What kind of things are you looking for? Um, and then we can sort of move in as we watch the other attacks, talk about the differences in uh, the subtle differences you can do with the attack. Yeah, so um, a big part of, of at least the, the beginning portion of this Witch Slap is setting the funnel, of course, with, with every attack it is. And... Uh, the way that Riggle does it is he likes to start with a queen walk. And so uh, the I don't think any of the other attacks that we're going to watch here start with a queen walk. Oh, maybe they maybe do. Maybe one. I know at least one does, yeah. Um, so, the, so that's definitely one way, and you'll see that he starts with that. Um, you want to look for, I mean... Uh, the 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 entry it seems is less important as far as uh, you know depending on the attack you're doing you're like well I need to get in and I need to get the queen or or I want to try and make sure that I get to an expo or something uh, not a big deal here um, he's just looking for where is the entry that's going to allow him um, to double jump all the way through the base and that's really the 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 only real consistent thing across these is that there's always a double jump and of course there's always witches and healers. Um, the I mean, Riggle is is very heavy on witches and healers. Then he brings a couple of loons in case there are uh, troll Teslas or something. Although you'll see in this attack, he just drops it right off the bat. But yeah, um, the, the idea is how can I how can I jump through this base um, and and push the the bowlers and the witches that go in with me all the way to the all the way to the end. So. Um, so one of the things that we were just talking about, um, was that the fact that I just retired from town hall, town hall nine, uh, and I'm kind of regretting it a little bit cause I was, I, I, in my opinion was a, an awesome Vealer attacker and there's very, uh, very similar things that you're looking uh, for in, uh, using this attack versus using a Vealer attack. Uh, First and foremost is, especially for the healer's sake, you always want to know where the air defense are, right? Are they accessible to from the outside of the base? Um, you know, can you send uh, your witches with healers walking around the outside of the base without the threat of uh, the air defense picking off the healers? Like, that is a huge, huge thing. Um, but pretty much what it comes down to is what sides of the base can you send witches or even bowlers or... Um, what side of the base can you send them down that they're going to be safe, right? Uh, right. 
the other thing I think you want to look for is the wizard towers and where are they? Are you going to be facing two at the same time with some witches? Cause that's probably no, uh, no good, especially if there's a mortar as well. Um, I think the wizard towers are probably a little more important than the mortars, but why don't we just watch this first one play out and you can kind of walk us through, uh, walk us through his deployment as he, as he goes through it. Sound sure. good? Okay. Yeah. All right. So go on laugh here. And he's going to start with a queen over by that kind of 3 o'clock wizard tower. Um, oh, actually, yeah, he, I forgot. He starts with that uh, loon, just drops a loon to get, get that mortar out of the way. Oh, one for uh, one. Yep, a one for one, yeah. Um, you look at this base while this queen is walking or while he's setting this up. I mean, this is actually a, a great funnel for this queen lock. As soon as that cannon goes down, you know that the queen has to go left. And there it is. She's going left. Um over on the left side of the base, he's going to start bringing in um, some witches here in a second. Now, you can see that he's got a – there's an air defense right there just off of 9 o'clock. And up there, kind of closer towards 11, there's a wizard tower. So there's some concern that that air defense takes off these last two um, healers that he's got. And those witches should be fine. For the most part, those skellies distract point defense is great, and the witches – um, under the new met or uh, under the the new kind of update, these witches just don't. <laughs> I mean, don't die. It's fantastic. <laughs> look at them. Look at them taking on the clan castle right now, too. <laughs> it's crazy, right? <laughs> like there's a baby dragon there taking out huge clumps of skeletons <laughs> at the same time, and the baby drag is losing. Down it goes under the poison. <laughs> so there's another thing: a giant bomb outside of the base. One thing I was talking about with Grady is as we see the meta base designs um, reflect this attack, I think you're going to be seeing a lot more giant bombs on the outside. But however, like we just saw, even that doesn't stop it. <laughs> oh, it's it's crazy. Um, now you see that all of the witches that were on the left side now are, are gone. They did not make it past that Tesla. But at this point, um, Queen a is lot of them, a lot of them up. actually routed in over that giant oh, bomb did. and in with the rest. Not all of them, but uh, probably four or five of them did. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah. At this point, though, it is. I mean, it's pretty much done. He's got three point defenses left. That that air defense is not going to hurt anything uh, other than those healers. Um, still has like I think he's got every bowler. All his bowler, um, all his bowlers for sure. He still has those two healers there, losing them or three healers, losing them to that air defense. But it doesn't matter. No, and he hasn't. I mean, just just finally pops King's ability with with two point defenses left or three point defenses left. Six Queen. witches alive at this point. A wizard. Yeah, just. and just Skelly's galore. So just <laughs> too much. Just overpowers these bases. It's it's a such a fun attack to watch. Um, I mean, uh, a bit spammy, but you've got to you've got to be smart with how you deploy it, how you set that funnel. So you can look yeah. at the next one, PAB. PAB does an interesting thing um, because he's he doesn't have this. He drops two healers for a golem. Oh yeah, and uh, so he's he's deploying witches on the sides there. Um, brings the same amount of, of witches, or, or roughly, I think he actually had ten. Um, ten yeah, witches. And five and five nine. on each side with two healers a piece. Yeah. And you'll see his spells are a little bit different. Still has the two jumps, um, but he's not looking to push, uh, push witches into the center. He wants to push them right down the sides. Uh, notice both sets of witches are going, walking straight into a wizard tower. As long as they've got those two healers, they're fine. It's it doesn't fine. matter. If you don't, uh, <laughs> So, I mean, they're done, right? I guess a big piece is is where are the where are the air defense in relation to where your witches are going to be stopping on the outside, right? Um, right. You don't want them stopping for too long with the air defense in range, and then they will pit her out. But if you can sort of pick out the defenses one at a time, keep those healers up. Your witches are not going anywhere. And I've right. always talked about this since witch before before witches were cool. They are the only troop in the game that produces its own troops. <laughs> There's something to be said about that, and being able to keep a witch or two even, uh, you know, alive from the beginning to the end of the raid, is is so valuable. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, and these, I mean, it's just, I mean, watching these skellies, it's just amazing how quickly <laughs> they can get through these these um, max level nine walls and chewing through the walls. Yep. It's it's uh, 
So, I mean, at this point, one, two, three, four, four point defenses left. So point defenses, like I said, aren't that big a deal. Because if you look at them, they just focus on the skellies. Except right there, that Tesla gets locked onto the witches. But, um, but for the does it part, doesn't matter because there's healers there. Yeah, <laughs> like, okay. that's the thing. Like, witches before, like, that wizard tower at 3 o'clock would have yeah. smoked those witches pre-update. I mean, oh, I yeah. think even with the healers, they would have taken that clump of witches out, and that would have never happened. But so we didn't talk much in there. But the golem was a nice tank all the way through, and that's what I was thinking here: is I want something that can tank, but I also want something that's going to give me a little bit of of uh, um, firepower as well. So I start the funnel. I think uh, actually, I think in PAB's attack, he probably could have done the same thing as you, uh, and you know, brought. It's saved an extra five troops base and, and used the P.E.K.K.A. instead of the Golem. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Um, and so uh, my, my goal here is to take out that air defense, right? That That's what I wanted. And then to, to push my queen right, hopefully. Um, people vary on their opinions of, of uh, whether or not you should walk these things down the middle or put everything, uh, or walk these things down the sides or throw everything up the middle. I like going up the middle. I like having those healers under rage in the middle of a base. Um, but again, it depends a little bit on the air defenses. And so anyway, uh, we are in with a ton of witches. Still have some witches going around the side. And uh, that P.E.K.K.A. is still up. That P.E.K.K.A. is going to push all the way to the end of the base. Um, unfortunately, nothing on the left side. So that left side winds up actually getting cleared by this queen, but she beats through a wall in order to do it. It's, it's uh, kind of a drag. The yeah. uh, <laughs> that, that healer up there just was taking a beating from these air defenses. But now is when things kind of become problematic because you've got a wit or I mean a uh, wizard tower up there. Um, and no, he no healers in there, just the one on the outside for your witches. At this point, you must be like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was worried. Um, I was thinking, well, my queen's, my queen's going to do well, but boy, she's going to take forever to get through there. Um, fortunately, just the few witches that I have left over here uh, are, are going to bust through, and this healer is going to switch as soon as those witches start getting hit by that wizard tower. Um, oh, I yeah, think. there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. So a little bit of luck there. Um so down with that uh, wizard tower. Um, the queen will take out these next two wizard towers, so I'm good to go there. And like I said, point defenses are not an issue with these things because of so many skellies. So the skellies spawn faster. Um, I don't. Are they actually spawning more skellies? I didn't think it was more. I think it was just there's more on the base because it's they spawn. It's not more. They, the, the rate that they spawn them is faster. Right. That yeah, was gotcha. the difference. Um, so before, I don't know. They would they, they have a maximum amount of skellies they can have up at any given time. Right. Um, so their first summon isn't that maximum amount. I think it's like half or something. And then yeah. however many seconds later, they do it again and summon four or five more. And they'll only respawn skeletons once some die. But that's the difference. Once they lose a couple skellies, they will much more quickly uh, respawn okay. the ones right that, that they lost. Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Awesome. All right, so one more. Let's check out Cassie Boy here. Ten witches. Yeah, cool. He brings six healers on this one. Yeah, and he does it different. You'll see he puts down some witches with two healers. He's going to throw down another group of witches with two more healers. And then his bowlers with two healers on them. Unfortunately, uh, here those those witches or those healers actually jump off over onto a bunch of skellies. Um, he has another attack. or I've seen him do this attack several times where he's trying to do two, two, and two. Uh, just another approach to doing it. I mean, look at how quickly these witches take care of that CC. Um, so at, at this point, right, CC is done, heroes are done, and Ooh, look at that bomb on the outside too, and it just doesn't do anything. It's like, oh, if that if you had a double giant bomb there, this attack would be over right now. <laughs> but everything lives, so nice, right? even has a heal spell there in the core. Just absolutely going to thrash the rest of this base. Yeah, um, so a, a little bit of concern because you've got some witches on the left there that are walking towards that wizard tower with no heal spell or no healer on them. But as we've seen, um, as long as they're standing, like they're going to stand, you know, the, the wizard tower is going to be mainly aiming at the skellies at first. Right. 
Yeah. But I don't know. Like even a wizard tower it doesn't seem like you can kind of see how this works out. You know, he's taking care, taking care of it. Wizards, which is all lock onto the onto the wizard tower now. And the uh, whole yeah. time, it'll be distracted. There we go. Finally, yeah. finally targets them, but it doesn't matter. It's not enough. It's not enough. Right. Too little, too late. So never yeah. mind point defense. Not even really. Not even splash damage. Yeah. Can really, you know, it's got to be very cleverly placed splash damage for it to actually be effective. That's. It's, I mean, it's gonna. It's gonna cause a new. A very interesting new meta, I think, in, in base building. Yeah. Not like we see another new base building meta already, but uh, that's, I mean, that is it. Um, lots of skellies. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a versatile attack. You, I mean, people are doing it several different ways six healers, four healers, between 12 and, and eight uh, witches, sending them up the middle, sending them down the sides. I've seen it go so wrong. And still get the triple. So it's funny. Uh, that's what yeah, I used to say. That's what I used to say about Veeler <laughs> all the time. It's crazy though. If you could manage to keep the healers up for the most part and just really sort of preserve your troops, it doesn't fully even matter where they go <laughs> in a sense. Like, um, and I've I've screwed up Veelers to the point where my queen has died on entry, and you and you still come away with it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, yes. Yeah, I mean that. That's uh, th those are the the kind of basic. Oh, the, so there's one more that um, people can watch in the in the uh, North Watchers recap, and that was Dally. Um, yeah, he, a little bit. Twenty one. So uh, go and check that out. But yeah, I mean, um, and play around with it. See what you like. I think when people get comfortable, uh, they wind up sticking with something that seems to 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 work well for them. So. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming out, Doctor D. Appreciate it. Man, take care. Yeah. You too, man. Have a good one. Yep. Uh, so that'll do it here for Wisdom from Wiser, guys. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.